Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, born to be free guys, uh, from my own Proof of Pole page here in Phuket. Today's video, again an amazing video from my own garden about the Bitcoin charts. Four of them, amazing charts. A trading tip, a travel tip, some live tips, and of course talking about some really cool news for the Bitcoin family. Uh, enjoy the full video, but start now with giving a thumbs up. Well, I'll need to catch some breath again. Yeah, let's jump into the first part, the charts. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, of course, is that beautiful day chart that we've been tracking for the last couple of weeks, guys. Look, on this beautiful day chart, we can see a golden cross. And what does the golden cross mean? That's another trading tip for today. Um, that is when the 50 MA over there, that green line, is crossing the 200 MA on the daily chart. That's a beautiful daily golden cross over there. Yes, they're always lagging behind a little bit. As you can see, we already had the pump, but still it's a very bullish confirmation of the market starting to get more and more and more bullish. If you zoom out on the chart, guys, you can see that these golden crosses don't happen very often. The last time we saw this golden cross was in February 2023, when the Bitcoin bear market was in and we became very bullish. And if you look before that, then it was all the way back over here in May 2020, that was just before that massive bull run into 2021 started and also ago, the before there a little bit earlier already in April. So we are making almost the same move as we did in the previous bull market. If you zoom out and look at the total chart on the daily, then you can see exactly what I mean. Beautiful chart, guys. Let's zoom out now into a beautiful chart as well. This chart is comparing the drawdowns. So from 100%, you can see in the left top, all the way to the bear market bottom, at which uh, block cycle count that happened and what is happening after that. We can see that we are moving as always. We come from 100%, we crash around 75%, and now we are moving up towards that halving line. And that halving line, I still expect us to be between 40 and 50K. Let's say 40K at minimum, in my honest opinion, in April 2024. And it's also, of course, depending on all the news about the spot ETFs, if they really will be approved in 2023, which I don't believe that it will happen so soon because we are getting Christmas months and all that stuff. But if it will be approved, then, of course, we could go higher than at 40K before uh, that halving moment. And if we are going to be very bullish at this short term moment, yes, we could already visit the 40K level, like 41, 42K level, but we could still fall back and then again be, a, be around that 40K, 50K level around the halving, guys. This next chart is comparing the total crypto market in the period of 2000, um, like 18 to 21 to the period now 2022 to 2025. Yeah. Now, we can see on the left part, that square, that is when we saw that 2019 bottom and then we went up and then we created a resistance line and then again a second bottom, that was the COVID crash and then when we broke that uh, green resistance line, the second breakout, that was the moment we went into that massive bull run all the way up to 70k. Now, we came down again. We broke that first resistance line, that dotted green line, that was the bottom, then we broke that. Now we are running into that second resistance line, that green line, and, and we are breaking out, out of that line now with this beautiful candle of last week, the 10K candle. So does that mean that we're going to go into that massive run now all the way up to a like $6 trillion market cap? That is what this chart is showing us. Be aware, of course, this is just a beautiful fractal this person found. I found it on Twitter. Uh, so these fractals don't always play out, but this is also a possibility when it comes to the total crypto market, how it could be moving now in the next couple of months, years. Beautiful chart. Now, there we have the Bitcoin presented supply and profit oscillator. Now we can here see that between 25 and 35k there's a huge difference of people being in profit if the bitcoin price is around 25k at that moment only 57 percent is in profit if bitcoin is around 35k then 81 percent of the supply is in profit so that's very important to understand these levels if we move up higher than 35k there will be a moment that almost 89.4% will be in profit. That is when we hit that red line. 
And that's the moment when we go above that red line that we are nearing the bull market top. Look to this chart. Every time in the cycle when that yellow line came above that horizontal red line, 89%, we were at the bull market top. We were starting to find the top. And that is when you start to dollar cost average out. So you don't try to hit the exact top. You start to dollar cost average out when almost 90% of the Bitcoin supply is in profit. That's a very important indicator to start to sell your Bitcoins into stable coins. Because when 90% is in profit, the market will turn around. We can see it over and over and over again. It's a beautiful chart. Pause the video if you want to analyze it a little bit more. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, they were amazing charts. And of course, it's a beautiful Monday morning again, a beautiful week for Bitcoin ahead. Let's see if we can break that 35K level and take it all the way up to 40K, maybe even 42K. If not, of course, there's always the possibility to pull back a little bit. The thing that you need to understand is you need to keep buying Bitcoins in this phase. This is still like the first phase of the Bitcoin bull market. From the halving, we will go into the second phase of the bull market all the way till that second phase you could be buying bitcoins and making profits the longer you wait the less profit you will make but it will still be a profit now you can quadruple your bitcoins or maybe even times five maybe then only times three and if you wait a little bit longer only times two but even doubling your capital is still a beautiful profit if you ask me guys so that with a beautiful chart for today let's quickly jump into the trading tip When it comes to trading, guys, treat it as if it is your business. Like, look behind me. Do you see the banana plants over there? Or the banana trees, I need to say? This is a business. The guy started that business. He planted banana trees to grow bananas, to sell these bananas. For him to become a successful banana trader, he needs to know his business. When does a plant look sick? When is the best time to take them to the market? When is the best time to sell them? Which markets can you sell them? Which customers are in need of bananas? All of this you need to know before you start the business of bananas. Now, you want to start the business of trading. So you need to educate yourself on that business. You need to be able to understand all the chart patterns. You need to be able to define where's the support and the resistance levels. You need to be able to understand all the candles. What does every candle mean? Aside of that, you need to understand all the indicators that you can see on the chart. What is a MACD? What is an RSI? Educate yourself before you start the business of trading. And if you don't have the time to educate yourself, then don't start trading. Then become part of our VIP group or maybe join the, the Bitcoin Family Signal group where you get signals when to buy and when to sell. That will save you a lot of time, but it won't give you the skill because you're copying our trades. And we prefer as the Bitcoin Family to teach you how to fish. Do you know the saying, it's better to teach someone to fish instead of giving him fish? That is exactly what we want to do with you in crypto. Of course, we can give you beautiful signals, but we prefer to teach you to become a better trader so you don't depend on our signals anymore, but you can trade for yourself. It's a skill that you can do all over the world, whenever you want, however you want. So, it's very important, and that's a trading tip for today, that you understand that knowledge is power also in the industry of trading to become a better trader. That was a trading tip for today. Which brings me to the travel tip for today, guys. Uh, the travel tip for today is patience. And what do we mean by patience? The world around you, if you travel, is probably not moving as fast as you expect it to move. But be patient. Embrace it. Because that's the reason why you started to travel. You wanted to escape the hamster wheel. Now, if you go to Thailand, they are not running at hamster wheel 24 seven in the pace that you're used to. Everything here is a little bit more slowly. Yes, it will take some time. And everything takes time. Even like paying for your groceries will take a lot of time. Even ordering a drink in a very beautiful restaurant can take a shitload longer here than it will take you in Europe. But embrace it. Be patient. That is why you started to travel, to slow down. But it's always difficult in the beginning to adapt to that slow pace um, all over the world. To give you an example, when we went to Australia for the first time in our lives with the family, we went to Coles. Coles is this huge grocery um, store. And 
we went to do our groceries. And then we arrived at the cash register and this woman looks at us and she's like, good morning, I say, yeah, good morning. How are you doing? I say, yeah, I'm doing fine. I already felt awkward because there was a long line of other people waiting behind me. And she takes the first product and she's like, beep. Oh, are these your children? I say, yeah, it's my children. Ah, so beautiful. Beep. Oh, you know, I, I also have children, but I also have baby kangaroos. Says, oh, very nice, thank you. And I start, I start to feel a little bit more awkward. I'm like, these people behind me in the line, they're gonna hate me. It's like, this is not how it works in Europe. And she's like, beep, beep. Shall I show you a picture of the baby kangaroo? I'm like, uh, there's people waiting. No, no, wait, wait. So she takes her telephone. She shows the kids the pictures and everything. And then, beep, that's how it worked in Australia. We were like, amazed we were like wow the people are not even complaining behind us like if you're in the netherlands this will be like beep 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 good morning beep 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 you know i need to do like this competition to get everything into the bags on time you know i'm completely stressed already when i'm doing groceries to, <laughs> to, it's like a, a running game or something and they took the time over there and we needed to get used to that because sometimes you will be like oh man come on come on can it go a little bit quicker adapt to the pace of that country be patient Embrace the slow living, because that's why you escape the hamster wheel, to slow down. That was the travel tip for today. The news for today, guys, is that I'm sweating my balls off already now here in this bloody hot morning. <laughs> Thailand, it's 8 o'clock, I think, and it's really hot, so there's no clouds. Um, I'm sweating, but I'm doing this all for you. But the news for today, guys, is um, that there was no news, but I want to give you the news of the Bitcoin family. I am very, very, very close to opening a special VIP membership area uh, for the Bitcoin family members that want to become a VIP. And in the VIP area, you will get access to all the trading signals, you will get access to a VIP Telegram chat group where you can chat with like-minded people but where I also chat every day where I also share extra video content trading tips I do live AMAs with the VIPs I think Thursday is the first AMA uh, that we are gonna do uh, there will be in the future a crypto course there is an old course already but I'm gonna update that to a new course with new information that's also freely available if you become a VIP uh, pre-launch investments so I get investment opportunities because I am an influencer so uh, I'm going to share these investment opportunities with you guys so you can also be very early into these projects and way more when you become a VIP. If you want to know more about this, then already visit the website thebitcoinfamily.com, go to products and you see uh, something about VIPs. Click on it and you will get all the information. You can already buy the VIP membership. There is like a beautiful price at the moment till the end of this year, but it will also soon come with something really unique. It's like a VIP membership tied to an NFT. The NFT will be more expensive than the normal membership that you can pay with crypto or your dollars or euros. But an NFT membership also has the possibility that you are again sell it in the future to somebody else if you don't like the group. So that will be your choice. So we are creating an online environment. I'm saying we, but it's me and my other personalities because I lost the trust in other people at the moment after being stabbed in the back a few times now um, by some moderators in Discord and now also, um, of course, by uh, the indicator creator. So yeah, I I'm starting again all over again completely new fresh with a beautiful environment where you can become part of and uh, together we can grow to this huge Bitcoin family worldwide with the same mindset yes we want to enrich ourselves financially we want to enrich ourselves as person and we also we want to help all the poor people all over the world by creating cool projects that will lead to profits and those profits we can share again then with those people that's a little bit the vibe and the mindset that I want to create for the Bitcoin family now that was the news for the day guys if you want to know more visit the website thebitcoinfamily.com and you will find out more over there guys stay tuned uh, let's jump into the next part of the video okay guys really too hot over here i'm gonna move into the shadow uh, yeah here that's a little bit more cooler guys now uh, the inspirational quote for today is a very beautiful one i always think about this one when i'm doubting to do something yes or doubting to do something no and the quote is I rather regret all the things that I did than I would regret all the things that I didn't do. Do you want to be that person when you're 80 years old, almost about to die, you're in your dying bed, and then you're rethinking what you all should have done, you're regretting that you didn't do this, 
You're regretting that you didn't travel. You're regretting that you didn't quit that job that you did now for 80 years. You're regretting that you didn't spend more time with your kids. You're regretting you didn't have more sex with your wife. You're regretting that you maybe had uh, less sex with your wife. I don't know, you know. But do you want to be that person that didn't climb the Kilimanjaro? Didn't visit Thailand? That didn't go deep sea diving? Do you want to be that person? Or do you want to be the person that tried all of those things and maybe afterwards regretted jumping out of an airplane because it wasn't the nicest experience, but it's better to regret jumping out of it than not jumping out of it. And this is also exactly the same thought that led for us to take these decisions in life. Yes, of course, we could have, we could have not gone all in into Bitcoin. We could have stayed in a safe environment, in a safe circle of the normal banking system, etc., 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 running at hamster wheel every day. But when I would have been on the dying bed, when I was 80, I would have definitely regretted to not have taken that leap. And we did do it now. At the moment, I'm not regretting it. Maybe in the far future, I'm regretting it that we went public and we made documentaries and we did all that stuff. But I rather regret it than I regret not doing it. I think that's a very important inspirational life lessons for everyone out there. Don't doubt. Do all the stuff that you want to do, that you dream of. You don't want to be that person that will regret that he didn't do it. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel three times, <laughs> hit the notification bell and leave a comment. What did you think about the charts? What do you think about everything else, the news? And of course, what do you think about that last part of the video about regretting the things that you didn't do? Thanks for watching this video. I wish you an amazing day and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Give it a thumbs up, guys. Bam.